Hey, what's going on? It's Matt Chan from Acquisition, and this video is going to be a continuation of the previous video where I started to show you how to run your own ads, messenger ads in particular, but also the strategies and tips that we use ourselves to run ads for our own clients to generate them qualified homeowners that want pools installed. So in this video, I'm going to be going over the copy side of an ad structure. And at the end, I'll also have a video linked down below so that you actually know how to set this up and the infrastructure that goes behind it on the Meta Ads Manager side so that you can actually do this yourself. So without further ado, we'll just go ahead and hop right into it. Now, moving back to our whiteboard, we're gonna be going over copy. So to reiterate from last video, the copy is going to be the description that goes along with your creative so what people are going to see when they're scrolling, they're going to see the creative first, which is going to cause them to stop their scroll. So your creative needs to be compelling enough for them to stop. And we talked about that in the last video. Then your copy needs to contain enough information for them to warrant interest in actually clicking and filling out a form survey or sending you a message. So the copy is this entire description part in which you will need to write out in order to a call out your audience, state your offer, and then also give them a call to action for them to actually be compelled to click below, submit their information, and end up actually talking to you. So there's a few things that are important to note in the copy, but first I'll just go ahead and show you some examples because the copy also doesn't have to be complex either. So there's two things you can run. You can run copy without an offer, or you can run copy with an offer. These are not the best examples of copy, but these are examples that are working for our clients right now. So in our case, we are calling out the target audience, Massachusetts residents, Tennessee residents, Charlotte residents, calling out the specific state in which you're going to be serving or the specific area. You can call out counties as well. You can also count, call out homeowners, but sometimes you might get rejected for that. That's not the point. But Within the copy, you're going to see that you have the call out, the offer. In this case, we're looking for 10 residents in your area to get custom pools installed in their backyards through our 2023 showcase program. Now, what is the showcase program, you might ask? For our instance, it's essentially a program to get homeowners to click and appeal to their ego. And in this case, the showcase program in short, gives them a slight discount or a free pool heater or $500 cash. And in exchange, if they actually move forward with us, right, then they receive that offer. And we get to use their backyard and their completed project as marketing material, uh, add it to the portfolio, use it as creatives to propel more ads, so on and so forth, right? So this is a really good foot in the door offer. That's not a real offer. If you don't actually want to run a something like $10,000 off, 10% off, free pool heater. But we can also go over a bunch of offers that I have run in the past. Here's a few to just list them out. Free pool heater. You can work that into your price. A free barbecue grill. A complimentary opening and closing for the first year after the pool has been completed. This is more for the Northeast, the states that get cold where they have to open and close the pools because otherwise they freeze. Or free cleaning for the first six months if you're partnered with a cleaning company or you might own a cleaning company yourself. It's a good segue to work that into your price, but not only that, you'll be able to gain another customer for the cleaning side if you're able to offer that. Building offers around things that people want or building offers around convenience are going to win and are ultimately going to get people to actually want to click, right? So things like a free pergola, free chairs, you can really be creative with it. And the most important thing is there's not a right answer to any of this. There's no offer that's gonna work the best in every single area. It's all about testing and it's all about seeing what your market and your demographic reacts to the best. That's why I've listed out a few and that's why I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that this works, you should 100% use this because like I said, I don't live in your area. I also probably don't serve your area. Maybe I do, but even then, we don't know what offer works the best with the audience that you're targeting at the end of the day. 
the only way to test that is, like I said, to test it. So running a combination of these with the structure of the call out, the offer, and the call to action, the call to action being the click below, click learn more to see if you're eligible, click learn more to see if you qualify. As long as you're instructing them to click and actually do something to interact with you, that's gonna be your call to action. So to recap, you're going to have your call out. You call out your demographic. Nashville millennial homeowners with young children. You can even go that specific. Your offer. For this spring only, we're going to be running a free pool heater or free inflatables for the kids with any new pool install. Click below to see if you qualify, right? And that's gonna be your call to action. It can literally be that simple. And the point of this video and, and the previous video is just to demonstrate that you can run this yourself. It's not terribly difficult. The only difficult part is the qualification and also testing consistently to see what works in your own market. But from a bare bones perspective, the structure that I've laid out in last video plus this video should generate you a high volume of leads top of funnel that you'll probably need to qualify, but that's a lot better than running these and getting no traffic. So that's what we're focused on right now. This entire structure is sole intention is to get you volume and get you homeowners clicking on your project. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out or comment below and we'll be happy to chat. And that's it for now. See you in the next one.